Welcome back everyone. I'm going to quickly talk about how you can actually make millions and level up quickly. So as you guys may or may not know, but Rockstar Games is a weekly update to GTA Online every Thursday. And with that, they usually make events double money or triple money in RP. Now one of these events that they actually made double money in RP for this week is called Hunting Pack. So of course, we're going to go ahead and take advantage of that. And the great thing about this is the only requirement you're going to need is you need three additional players in order to start up the job. Good thing is, a lot of people are actually doing this, so it should be pretty simple to find a group if you don't have one already. So first thing you want to do is make your way into any GTA Online session. You can do this in a public or invite only. Honestly, it doesn't matter. And then from here, what you guys want to do is press Options, go to Online, go to Jobs, go to Play Jobs. You then want to make your way over to Rockstar Created, and this is where you can do a play job or quick join. Now, if you have a group to do this with, then you want to go to play job, go over to adversary modes, and just go ahead and make your way over to hunting pack. And you're going to notice it's going to be double money and RP for this week. Now, if you actually want to join a group, which is actually pretty easy because a lot of people are actually going to be doing it. What you guys want to do is go to quick join and then go to play adversary mode. When you do this, it's going to try to link you into any group who's starting any adversary mode up. And because a lot of people are actually going to be doing this due to it being double money and RP, you should automatically get into a group. So once you actually have the group or you actually are starting one with other players, from here, just go ahead and launch the job. So how this adversary mode works is there's going to be three different teams. There's going to be the runners, there's going to be the defenders, and there's going to actually be the attackers. So what the runner has to do is get from one checkpoint to the other. Now the vehicle that they're going to be driving in is actually detonated with a bomb. And that bomb actually explodes depending on their speed. So you have to actually stay at a certain speed. And if they actually stop for a long period of time, it'll actually blow up. What the attackers have to do is actually try to prevent the vehicle from moving and causing it to explode before they get to the finish line. And of course what the defenders have to do is stop the attackers and try to get the runner all the way to the finish line. And that's basically how the adversary mode works. So for the first match we actually managed to win and for this we got a total of $32,460 and 2850 RP. As for the opponent side they only make around $13,510 and 1,950 RP. Are you wanting more money in GTA 5 Online, but don't want to spend the ridiculous price of shark cards? I mean, just look at these prices. You want a new car, that's $50. You want the Oppressor MK2, that's $100. And if you want some of the nicest vehicles in the game, you're looking at between $50 to $100 in just shark cards. That's more than just buying the game itself. Thankfully, this is where OP Mods comes in. They feature cheap and reliable services for your GTA 5 Online needs. They provide modded accounts and boost the game, so instead of spending a $100 shark card, you can spend $15 and get $150 million there. They currently have this available to all the old gen and next gen consoles, including PC. Thankfully to their new update that they just added on the website, looking for what you need is much easier and more simplified. Aside from GTA, they also have Red Dead Redemption 2 as well as Forza Horizon 5 mods. With Red Dead Redemption 2, you can get a gold boost, cash boost, or even modded accounts. So what are you waiting for? Go buy it now and also don't forget to use code LEGIT for 5% off on all your purchases. Thank you and now let's get on with the video. For the second match, we unfortunately lost, and for this, we only got a total of $23,470 and 1,950 RP. As for the enemy team, they actually got around $44,970 and 2,250 RP. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content like this. And with that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there, and goodbye.